Hi, James. Saw your video on Batfleck ending up in a nightmare timeline after the flash. I've been hearing that he may actually end up in a time loop. This way, WB can bring him back. Wanted to hear your thoughts. Thanks, Douglas C. Thank you, uh, Douglas. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of rumors now, guys, about what's going on with uh, Ben Affleck's Batman because originally, of course, the, the word was that he died in the Flash and they were using the Flash to get rid of him because, of course, you know, Ben Affleck was done doing this and then Zack Snyder came back. They, they restored this. They, re, they released the Snyder cut. They did some reshoots. He loved it. He had a great time. He, he became a part of the Flash. He said that was the most fun he ever had and that he really loved what they did with the, the characters. And then rumors started coming up that, the, that he died and then they're saying he didn't die. And then they're saying that maybe he gets thrown into the nightmare timeline. There's so much going on. But then another one that is is making the rounds recently, I didn't know this until I read this email, Douglas, was that he might just end up in like a time loop and like not in a specific time period, just randomly somewhere in time. And I think that that, I don't know if that's the, the direction they're going to go, but I actually think, Scotty, that that makes sense because this is a way for you to get rid of Ben Affleck's Batman, but also have him available down the road. And you're like, I saved you from that time loop. And then he can come back when, if they ever want to utilize him again. Plot armor is my, my favorite shill special ability. I love when they do these things and like people are going to complain about it. They're going to be like, oh, that's a cop out, but they're not going to complain about it when he comes back and it's the nightmare verse. And it's like evil Superman, bro. Like I really want them to touch on that. And I keep saying it like suicide squad in the video game. They're trying to kill Superman. Do you imagine seeing that in live action somewhere down the road? Like they need to just go all out. I think with a lot of these storylines, a lot of people like the nightmare verse, if anything, from the Snyder Cut. So it was shot beautifully. Oh yeah. Yeah. Steve, any thoughts? You're a big Star Trek fan. This sounds like a Star Trek plot. <laughs> it's getting that way, but um no, it looks good. Um yeah, I I got nothing. I'm excited <laughs> for that. Rob. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, hearing this, just like, you know, th they can literally do whatever they want with uh, Ben Affleck. Like, they could throw him into a time loop. They could, uh, you know, as long as they don't definitively kill him, I think just because there's, if there's some way that, you know, he could come back in some type of way, I think that'll make fans happy. Uh, but it's like, you know, just discussing, like, you know, the fact that aside from the general story for this Flash movie, we don't know a lot of parts about this movie. Like, there's a lot of unknowns within this movie, at least for what 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 I'm uh, what I'm gathering. So it's like, you know, just hearing this that this could be the way. I'm just like, sure. Like, I don't I don't even know how that all fits in. Like him just being thrown into a time loop in some type of way. But it's just like, um, you know, I'm open. I'm, I'm open for it. I'm, I'm I'm just hoping that they do it. Uh, they do it well. They uh, do the story justice because, uh, yeah. So if if, if they can. Um, you know, give some nods to uh, Zack Snyder at the same time, like you know, because there's a lot of just Zack Snyder fans. Like we 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 literally saw like over the weekend how it's like you know they had the Oscars had their fan voted awards and both fan voted awards were won by two Zack Snyder movies, right? They, he he has diehard fans, so for him to, them to not completely close the book on the Snyderverse in the Flash movie would probably be a very smart thing that Warner Brothers and DC could do. Andrew, I have a feeling I'm stuck in my own damn time loop because I keep continuously forgetting that Ben Affleck is going to be in this flash movie. <laughs> um, and I think it's because there's just, like you said, Rob, there's so many unknown factors and there's so much going on. Like, I'm excited for Flash having his own movie. I'm excited for Keaton coming back. I'm excited for the still not confirmed, but pretty heavy prospects of seeing Reverse Flash and the Flashpoint storyline. Like that alone is already taking up all of my childlike glee that I have to keep saying, oh yeah, and and, and Batfleck as well. Um, you mentioned Star Trek, James, as how it's like taking a page of that book. I think at this point, I'm going to see your Star Trek and raise you a Zelda. And what I mean by that is Zelda did this completely messy, but at the end of the day, kind of fun thing with its timeline where it had this one game that introduced time travel, and then the timeline split in three different directions. And every time a new game comes out, it's like, oh, is it in this timeline or in this one? And I feel like DC could 
end up going that route. And if they sell it, if they turn it into this visual thing that fans can periodically look at and update and sell it as what their multiverse looks like, then what better way to stand apart from Marvel? Yep. Have your as long as they clearly time. lay it out. If yeah, clearly, clearly lay, lay it out. Exactly. They need to do that. Other because we mm -hmm. we can every other if they don't, everybody on YouTube will, and you'll have five hundred different versions, and it's going to be a hot mess, and nobody's going to care. I, I think for diehard fans, that could work extremely well. For the common fans, for my mom, my, she'll be confused as hell. Totally. My mom my mom will be, be like, what's going on? Where's What is this movie? It's like, why doesn't you know Ben Affleck uh, team up with um, uh, Commissioner Gordon, the black Commissioner Gordon from the Batman? And it's just like, oh, they can't do that. <laughs> and just like, you know. <laughs> yes. Do you think we're going to see that, yes. Keaton and Affleck share screen time together, Batman and Batman on the screen at the same time? 100%. So. Oh, Scotty's saying yes. I'm saying no. Scotty's saying yes. We're oh, you're saying no. We're betting a Canadian nickel on this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I it's don't think they're, be, I mean, they might now, but. I think it's going to be a moment where uh, I think Keaton is with the Flash and they go through the timeline and that's like, they're going to, they're going to come out together or it'll be the Flash with another Batman causing them to move through. And that's when the other one's there or something. Like they go from one Wayne Manor to the other. Or something because right. otherwise when's the next time they'll have that opportunity to have right. two bruces well, and that's why if, i if, don't think they're gonna do it because they're pretty good at failing well so <laughs> if it's staying true to like that storyline there's going to be two opportunities i think when he try he goes and tries to time travel to save her but fails and then the second time he does it is when everything goes crazy, but it'll be interesting to see what they do. So I'm I'm saying the only way that these two Batman are going to cross paths is the moment that he decides to go into the Speed Force. So he's already in the Ben Affleck universe now, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something with that. I don't know anything about the script. It's changed five times. So. Yeah, I don't think they know anything. <laughs> Nothing has the edits because like, they it? don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true because it's like when you're looking at it and looking at about the original Flashpoint story, right? You know, a part of the story is the kind of mystery, mystery in the reveal as to what exactly happened, how how the Flash, how how the Flash is in this universe, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, that's 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 what's making me wonder is if he's gonna actually start in the Snyderverse, like the regular Snyderverse, and then move to this universe with with Keaton, or if he's just gonna start off. In the Keaton verse, right away, and they're going to un un unravel the mystery as they're going, mm, like, like Tarantino how they do. or something. Yeah, like I I'm because... hoping they take some time for a setup because if it's going to be the whole like, like Back to the Future Part Two thing where you see the dark version of Hill Valley, let us see the light version first so we know what the changes are and so you can contrary. connect with them. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, I was going to yeah, say something. Definitely. Else, well, I lost it. <clears throat> We're going to find out, though, because they're going to reshoot half of it now, and then we're going to get... <laughs> I remember what I was going to say. Not even gonna, no um, more time travel. I don't actually think it's going to be the exact same um, beat for beat. Like, when we're in that Flashpoint universe, wherever they decide it to be, I think it's going to be something hopefully new, like a new thing we haven't seen before, <laughs> with Easter eggs included, but... Oh, you're probably they, right. You're probably be right risky. because the one the one key difference I think that we already know about this movie is is that there's another berry, right? There's right. there's two berries already in it, right? Mm -hmm. So so that part alone is a pretty big difference, I would say, from a uh, flashpoint. True, true, true. So well, Scotty, you brought up a, little, a few weeks ago that you thought that this might lead, this one might not be flashpoint, but it might lead to a flashpoint. This could be a precursor to flashpoint. Yeah, and that's why I think it's like he could try to go save her and fail, and then he'd be stuck in a world where his mom's dead, but he's also got, you know, the Batman situation or other villain that he's fighting, or he finds out that it's Reverse Flash, and then at the end, when he goes back again, again, that's like when he comes out on the other end, and it's like Thomas Wayne about to shoot him and stuff, and he doesn't have his powers, and it, maybe that's a post credit. Because yeah, like, to think about it, like, all the other Justice League characters are getting trilogies except for, you know, the, the failed properties they don't want to do. So I why wouldn't they attempt to uh, keep this story as another trilogy? 
we live in a world where you might as well make the superhero movies. People are going to watch them. That's yeah. like that's how it is, you know. Like they're like, ah, we're doing seventeen of these. Okay, fine, <laughs> whatever. Or if we get, or, or considering just everything that's going on with Arthur Miller, maybe what's going to happen is he does all this and then he gets messed up from a time wraith for messing with time. He pulls him into the time wraith and then Grand Custom comes out and then that's it. you know also that's our, that's our Flash. <laughs> how do, how does the Flash know it's not a rumor? Have you guys seen Peacemaker? No. <laughs> how does he know? <laughs> 